What's happening here is a test case planned and executed over two years. We're trying to keep everything as driver friendly as it was before. The goal is to see if gas powered vehicles can be converted efficiently into electric ones. A lot of these vehicles have a long lifetime and it's, it doesn't make sense that these vehicles uh, you know, would not be converted in order to still have the same or get the same benefits of an electrical system. The project is a joint venture between the company Canadian Automobility Enterprises, students at St. Clair College and the local utility company Enwin Utilities. It, it really is an investment. It's understanding, it's learning. The, the payback that we're going to get from the advanced view on what an electric vehicle uh, will do for us in a fleet perspective, what it's doing to help build knowledge within the college the next generation of engineers and, and fabricators. So in order to make this happen, they essentially had to pull the car apart. So they removed the connection points and then hoisted the Ford F-150 body off of the frame. And then you have the chassis exposed. They removed the 3.5 liter gas powered engine and other components and replaced it with eight massive batteries to run this vehicle and an electric engine. One obstacle to overcome, how to get the truck a charge if there's a lengthy power outage. We can't be on the side of the road with a, with a dead battery uh, while the community is looking to us to put the power in place. Up next is to get the truck back in one piece to test on the road. Ultimately, they hope this project leads to more commercial conversions, possibly in the farming or mining industries. Jason Vio, CBC News, Windsor, Ontario.